everyone. This is Cindy at Lulu's Treasure Trove. Hope everyone's having a great day today. I wanted to come on and um, do a video for everyone. Uh, some of you are new to my channel and you've talked about being uh, new to, you know, crochet or just starting to crochet. And so I just put out a video um, couple of videos before this one and it teaches you how to do uh, the chain and a single crochet and so I, today I was going to um, show you how to do a double crochet and a triple crochet and um, so anyway I guess I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll get started to show you how to do the double crochet and the, the double crochet. crochet and the triple crochet okay so uh, for this video I chose to use a hundred percent acrylic big twist value yarn it comes in a 380 yard six ounce skein or that's 347 meters uh, 170 grams and then it shows some uh, photographs of how many skeins that it could take, you know, per project, depending uh, on the size. It says it normally would take one skein, you know, to do a hat uh, or a scarf, and, and it may take uh, three skein to do a sweater and six uh, skein to do a blanket. So, um... I purchased the I purchased mine at uh, joannes.com online and uh, it is a four medium weight yarn and it suggests that you use uh, an H hook or a five millimeter hook so so that's what I have here is um, my five millimeter hook so hopefully you can see that <laughs> and uh, I chose this uh, pretty purple colored yarn uh, it's it's a light color and so hopefully it will be easy for you to see when I'm doing you know crochet so uh, this particular yarn is called soft purple and it says it was uh, made in Turkey so just like uh, when you're you know starting off and you're gonna do a chain um, you'll get a loop on your thread and then uh, have your hook here so since this is, we're not doing any particular project, you know, I'm just teaching you how to do a double and a triple crochet, then um, I'm just going to do a few chains. We'll say, we'll say we'll chain, um, we'll say we'll chain 16. So one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. And this is an, a new so I'm just gonna try to pull some out <laughs> it's look at there it's gonna have a big yarn barf so folks if you guys are, are new to crochet this is what they call a yarn barf and you know as far as as far as I'm concerned <laughs> Joanne's uh, big twist uh, value is uh, really known you know to to do that <laughs> so we'll just ignore it 
because it happens. Okay, so let's go back and count. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, so I said we'll do about sixteen. That's uh, chains. Um, so now to do a double crochet, you know, to do the single crochet, I said you uh, skip one space and then so on the double crochet, we're going to skip two spaces. And on double crochet, you wrap your yarn around your hook like this. And you skip two spaces and put your hook into the third space. Then you wrap the yarn around and pull it through, which leaves you three strands of yarn on your hook. Then you wrap around, pull through two, wrap around, pull through two. And that right there is called a double crochet. Now, a lot of folks um, prefer to, when they're uh, doing their first row, they prefer to use these back loops on their chain. See the back loops? I'm gonna put it down. So maybe you, I'm going to hold this down so maybe you can see this better. And I'm going to use a needle. So, and I'm going to zoom in. Okay, so now I'm zoomed in here. So this is your chain. And sometimes a lot of folks want to use these back loops right here. That's on the back side of the chain. See, there's one, there's one, there's one. Or you can go here into these loops. So this is the top loop of the chain right here in these spaces right here. See. So when you're doing your double crochet, single crochet, or triple crochet, or, or whichever crochet that you want to use after you do your chain. Those are the different places you can put your hook into to do whichever chain you want to do. So, um, usually when you go into the back loops, that makes a more defined uh, edge makes it look, you know, more, say, neat or straight. But just for the purposes of the teaching tutorial, we are just going to go into the front spaces there. So we'll go ahead and do another one here. So you wrap your hook around the yarn and then you put it through the loop, wrap it around, pull it through, then you've got your three loops on here, and then you wrap around, pull through two, wrap around and pull through two. So now uh, we've done two double crochet. So uh, let's do it one more time. You wrap your hook around the yarn, put it through the loop, wrap your hook around the yarn, pull it through, leaving three strands of yarn on your hook, wrap it around, pull through two, wrap it around, and pull through two. So, I meant to uh, zoom back out. Sorry about that. <laughs> that gave you a close-up view of it, didn't it? Okay, so I'm going to work a couple of these so you can get the gist of it. Okay, so there's what your double crochet looks like. Now, to do a triple crochet, you do it just like the double crochet, but instead of wrapping the yarn around your hook once, 
you wrap your yarn around your hook twice, like once, twice, just like that. Then you put, just like in a double crochet, put your hook through the loop and wrap the yarn around, pull the yarn through, and instead of having three loops on your hook, you ha now have four. So then you uh, will do the pull through two three times. So wrap your yarn around your hook, pull through two, wrap your yarn around your hook, pull through two, wrap your yarn around your hook, pull through two. And that is called a triple crochet. That's one more time. You wrap your yarn around your hook twice, then you poke your hook into the loop, wrap your yarn around, pull it through that loop, and you have four strands of yarn on your hook. Wrap it around, pull through two, wrap it around, pull through two, wrap it around, pull through two. And there's your second triple crochet. See how it makes your, uh, your ch uh, crochet posts look like you're climbing a hill. See, it goes from sm small to, or like, you know, shorter to taller. So let's do that one more time. You wrap it around twice, poke it through, wrap it around, pull the yarn through. There's four on the hook. Wrap it around, pull through two, wrap it around, pull through two, wrap it around, pull through the last two. Okay, so I'm going to do a couple more now without, you know, saying it. You can just watch or you can crochet along with me. And we'll just go ahead and do the last, in the last post, the triple crochet. Okay, so here's, here's what that looks like. So we started out doing the double crochets, and then we went up to the triple crochets. And see how it go, it makes a, like you're going uphill sort of shape. Okay, so anyway, I didn't want this video to be too long. I just wanted it to be a short teaching video, and I hope you guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And for those of you who are new, if you, you know, new to crochet, um, if you have any questions, you can always send me an email. I'll make sure to put my email address in the description box, so it'll be easy for you to find. And also, um, I hope you can go watch uh, my other videos. Right now, I have uh, two videos that have uh, hidden giveaways in them. And so, if you love yarn, you will, you know, love, I'm sure you'll love the giveaways that I have going on in the and they're uh, hidden in two, two of the videos that I have posted recently. And I'm going to draw for those on, uh, well, it those giveaway ends on June 30th. And so I'll draw for those after June 30th. And also, um, there is... Uh, well, we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> like I said, I didn't want this video to be too long. And I hope all of you guys have a great day and stay safe. Bye for now.